question? Um, you know, obviously, uh, pleased with the outcome tonight. I think sometimes, you know, when you're not winning and, and the ball's not going in the basket, um, it, it's easy to, to, uh, to get down. It's easy to question a lot of things. And I think a lot of credit has to go to our staff. Uh, your staff, I think sometimes you work a lot harder, you, you know, when you're losing, actually, uh, than you do when you're winning. And uh, we've worked real hard this last couple weeks, even though we haven't had some of the wins that we wanted to have. And uh, a lot of credit goes to our staff. Um, you know, obviously proud of the outcome tonight, and I think, um, you know, we got a little confidence back tonight, ball went in the basket a little bit, and I think, uh, you know, eventually we're going to be able to do some things defensively that are going to help us win some games. Juan, was that, do you, you think that was the best game you played here at Austria? I don't know. It's been a while since I, you know, I've missed the pilot last year, but, you know, I'm just happy we got the win. You know, we we're going four games skate. I'm just happy got the win. Well, I'm happy D-Mac hit a three-pointer. <laughs> I challenged him. I told him to hit a shoot a three for me today, and he did. So, the best game for me. Mike, talking about three-pointers, you had seven uh, as a Astro record. Uh, what was different tonight? Were you just feeling it, or? Um, no, I just, shots were just falling, and all my teammates were finding me, so, you know, we kept going to me, so it was good. Did you know that your previous career high was against Binghamton too? Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was my last one last year. Yeah. For all of you, how important is it to just get a win to kind of get back to having fun again and kind of you know seem uh, just that all, coming off the losing streak seemed like the bench was really getting into it as you guys had a big lead after the game. Oh uh, yeah, it definitely felt good to get back on the winning side of things. And, you know, give credit to the guys on the bench for keeping the energy up and staying staying positive. We had three three good days of practice, so you know, credit to the team that's stepping up today. Any one of you, was this the best offensive game start to finish, I guess, since the LIU game? I think it probably was. I mean, obviously the ball was going in the basket for us. But uh, the thing that I liked is uh, even when they went to man-to-man -man in the second half, I thought we ran some really good offense. You know, we, we, we made four or five passes. We ran a little flex. We ran a little sets. And, and we got some really good looks. And, you know, we when they made a little run there, we called a set play, you know, and, and ran it for Mike, ran it perfectly. And he ripped through and got to the basket. So. Uh, not just was the ball, the ball wasn't just going to the basket. I thought we executed some things well. And, and again, it's, it's part of our process with this group and this team of learning how to win, and we're still working on that. Duan, uh, you know, you're going to obviously keep playing, you know, significant minutes, but just how about yourself here over these last couple of weeks where you've had to play, you know, close to 40 minutes or be ready to play close to 40 minutes? Uh, just how about just kind of your progress and, and just staying out there for so long and so much pressure on you? Well, you know, Steve's out right now and playing. When uh, Steve was in, it was, it was much easier. <laughs> you know, we could just uh, split time. But coach has been on me, just been on me about my turnovers. So I've just been trying to uh, stay out of that category because they're out of run. I don't want to run. So I just wait, run my team and stay out that uh, turnover count. That was it. Well, how valuable was it just to have a week off? And obviously, you were busy during that, but how valuable was it just to have a week off, kind of regroup? And Focus and have some hard practice yeah, I think it was good, Jerry. You know, I mean, obviously it's a, it's a challenging week because we have final exams. So we have kids running in and out, out to exams, to study groups, and, and different things. So it's a challenging week. But I think having that week off was very valuable. We, we walked into practice Monday and we said we are going to commit to getting a little better every day. We're going to be enthusiastic and energetic about getting a little bit better every day. If we do that, winning will take care of itself. And we, we all committed to that. And uh, I think we made a step in the right direction today. But more importantly, we had a great week, and, and guys fought through a very tough week. I mean, we had some sore, sore guys even going into the game today. That, that you know, we spent a lot of time on the practice court the last week. The, the thing, does it help your confidence a little bit that uh, you had such an efficient shooting game? Uh, definitely, you know, seeing the ball go in the basket helps the confidence out. And uh, coach, what about finishing off a struggling team? I mean, Binghamton's been rough for them the last few years. Uh, do you feel as if your team needs to be able, if it takes control of a game early, to just finish them off? Yeah, Marcus, that's a big game. challenge for us right now. You know, I mean, I, I think for people who, who follow us and follow us closely, we've had a handful of other games that we had a chance to finish off, and we didn't do that earlier in the season, and, and that's why we kind of got our back against the wall. So I think today was a step in the right direction. Um, you know, we still have some things to work on. We have to learn to execute a little better, take care of the ball a little bit better down the stretch. Um, and, and I think it was real important to at least get a little confidence towards that that uh, you know that mission for us really moving forward. Mm -hmm. Coach, well, how about Stevie today? I mean, obviously he's, he's limited and he tried to give you his best. Yeah, you know, I, I, I gave our staff a lot of credit. I got to give him a lot of credit. Really, he probably shouldn't have played. 
to be honest with you. Uh, he probably shouldn't have played. Um, but you got to give him a lot of credit. He, you know, he, he went out there and, and tried to give us a little spark early on and uh, gave us a spark to start the second half and did some good things. You know, he's just he's really still on one leg. And uh, we hope we can, you know, get him through this next week and try to get him ready. It's really been unfortunate. He's had a tough month. You seem to get some good minutes from Grogan and uh, Steven today. I, I thought we did. Uh, you know, Maddie gave us a lift. I mean, obviously, every time he shoots the ball, I think our whole bench is already standing up, and everybody uh, wants him to, to get the ball in the basket. And I think that's a credit to Maddie, and it's a credit to Steven. You know, those two guys are, are have improved, but they're great teammates, and everybody in here knows that. And uh, we value that a lot. We talk about being a great teammate all the time, and those two guys are, are great teammates. How about uh, Shemaya? He had five assists, two steals, one turnovers. He had a couple. I thought he did some some really good things for us. He thought he made a couple great shots for us, and uh, he played a solid game. And he's going to have to really continue to uh, be that type of offensive guy for us moving forward. Mike, where are you still kind of in your head? Like you know, you're obviously putting up great points, averaging over you know 20 now. Uh, where are you still just kind of like I can still do this better, or, or I, I know like this is still an area I'm kind of working on. Where is that still for you? Um, definitely, uh, we actually called a team meeting, and um, you know we just challenged each other as play it was a players meeting, and we just challenged each other like, what can we do better? And one thing for me was just like, you know, just playing high intensity for 40 minutes, everybody just closing out the game. We had leads in the past, and you know we just let up, and we just we, we just want to finish playing 40 minutes. So your thing you would say for your individually is, is for you to play a full 40 or intense 40. Yes. Gotcha. When did the meeting happen? After Manhattan or? Yeah, definitely the next day after uh, the Manhattan loss. <coughs> well, how does that make you feel to know that, that the guys are taking out of their roles and being proactive and doing things about themselves? They don't need you to kind of cajole them into getting together. How's well, that's that great. So it's all part of their development. You know, I, I brought Mike in uh, the beginning of the week and I, and I challenged him and, and I was happy to hear him just say that to play a complete game. You know, he's doing some great things for us, but. Uh, you know, I challenged him to really play a complete game, and um, he's doing a lot of things for us. And, and if he can continue to play complete games, both ends, scoring, passing, rebounding, uh, along with Nat, along with Dewan, and they each have their own roles. Uh, if we can do that and start to play 40 minutes of that, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna get some W's. How do you feel about your big man? Uh, you know, I thought they did some good things for us today. I thought Steven did some good things for us. I thought Musa did some good things for us. Uh, you know, they're both still young and they're both still uh, a little bit of a work in progress, but i uh, got to give them a lot of credit. They uh, they really did some good things on the low block today for us, I thought. And, and, you know, they rebounded fairly well. They both got some things we've got to continue to work on. We've got to become a better rebounding team overall, uh, you know, to be successful in the CAA, and we know that. Coach, you caused a lot of turnovers off of the 1 2 2 zone press for most of the game. How'd you feel that that looked in today's game? Oh, I think we're getting better at it. I think all these guys would agree that you know we, we've tried to change the tempo a little bit, and unfortunately, we, we kind of hoped as a staff we'd be a little further along with that. But just because of injuries and and sicknesses and and uh, not enough time to really get it in, uh, we haven't been able to get to that point. But we're getting better at it. I think it's going to be a good piece for us moving forward. Well, what, what went into the decision about the minor lineup change? You know, Stevie and Juan started. What went into that decision? Uh, a lot, a lot of sleepless. <laughs> nights this week, uh, you know, and, and I, I didn't want to uh, tinker too much with what we're doing, but at the same time, uh, I just wanted to give us a little bit of a, of a quicker, maybe smaller lineup with a little bit more defensive intensity, and uh, it certainly wasn't anything against Musa. He's done a great job for us, you know, uh, through, the, through the early part of the year as a, young, as a true freshman. So uh, just, a little, uh, just a little coach's uh, uh, thoughts and, and uh, nothing too much other than that, Jerry. Do you think you're going to stay with it? I don't know. <laughs> Coach, how about, how, about, how about this week, just a shorter week, but uh, just with, with Colgate coming in, just uh, uh, what might this week look like? Is it any different than this past kind of trip? Yeah, this is a challenging time for all cop for student, you know, because final exams are getting done, you know, the campus kind of empties out, uh, you know, you, you're, you're, you're student ba your students aren't here, you're thinking, you know, the holidays are coming, and, you know, it's a challenging time for coaches and for students, so I, I think as a coach, we kind of want to get through this next week, but at the same time, I'm going to go back to what we talked about on Monday afternoon. we got to just keep getting better every day. we got to do it, get a little bit better Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then if we do that, uh, you know, I think we'll put ourselves in position to have a chance to win on Thursday. Uh, what brought on the uh, full court press? Um, it to be something new to me. Well, we... Uh, we, it's something that we wanted to implement a while ago, and we just haven't had a chance to because we haven't, you know, we've been such <coughs> limited with the bodies we have, and 
you know, especially with Dewan and Stevie, we feel we have two really quick guards. But uh, you know, obviously Stevie's been out for a month, and uh, we just haven't had the, the the time really to get it in. But it's it's something that we've been holding back a little bit. But we showed a little flash of it at the end of Manhattan game, and I thought it was effective. And obviously, we're trying to build on that now. You gonna sleep better tonight? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Did Thank you. Guys you. Thanks, the, guys. Did you guys see the Warriors video with the initiating video of Charles? Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Charles is Charles taking care of his business. It's just fine. <laughs> <laughs>